Alrighty, welcome everyone. I'm Tiabu here for Dumbbell Episode 10. Last time on Dumbbell, we had some fun bodybuilding stuff and uh, a cool competition slash test for Machio, which he obviously cleaned house at and was it was pretty awesome. Some interesting bits of animation, some some interesting stuff, and of course the the ever interesting and fun and kind of funny Barnold Schwarzenegger. Um, at the end of the last episode, we set up that there will be like a bigger, more serious competition, I think in which Machio will end up competing against Barnold. Uh, don't know if that's actually something we're going to focus on or if that goes into the back burner for a while. Kind of cool either way. Um, I think it would be fun to see them score off head to head, uh, and like take what we learned in last episode about the way that the competition works, um, and like use that to expand upon it. I don't know, maybe. Uh, or we could just not do that and do whatever the hell else we want. Probably doesn't matter. It's probably going to be fun no matter what. So let's go ahead and watch this episode, see what we've got in store for us. That's all I have to say here at the beginning. Let's get into it. Uh, two versions, picture-in-picture -picture version with the video you can find in the description, timer-based version up on YouTube, uh, discussion on the timer-based version, not on the picture-in-picture -picture version, mix and match as you see fit, and if you are using the timer-based version and syncing up with your own copy of Dumbbell, then get it ready because the countdown timer is coming at you. So we're back to the, the eaten thing, eh? Ah. Hmm. So, Christmas episode. In the middle of the summer. Perfect. Also, we don't know any guys in this universe except for, like, Machio and Barnold and some of the other guys who were competing at that competition. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> yep, just eat away your problems. <laughs> okay. Indeed. She just wants Machio. Mm hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I think she's got her eye on someone. But then again, like, all of you do. <laughs> He's Machio, how can you not? Mm-hmm. A perfect place to meet someone, right? <laughs> Thanks, Jason. What's this? It's, it's something Statham. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, that is... That went up by in a lot of calories. You've been chowing down. Oh no. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 You can't spot reduce. Okay. I'm going to do some extensions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are you going to come up with? Rope pulls? Skull crushers! Lovely. Whoosh! Skull crushers are fun. Oh, we're doing lying. Okay. Oh, we're... Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. For a second, I thought they were using a machine. I was like, I don't know a machine that can do that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see why it's called a skull crusher, right? Because if you let go. <laughs> yep. Yep. For all lifts, you want a direct vertical-ish. Yeah. Great for curls, too, to mix it up. That face, though. Good demonstration. No. Yep. <laughs> yeah, important. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> Let it begin. Not gonna happen. <laughs> no way. Mm. I want to see that reindeer, reindeer outfit. Mmm, a free session, huh? Cool. Probably not.
Whoosh. <laughs> Actually, yes. Are you- are you Mashiba? <laughs> but. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, she's a cosplayer. <laughs> yeah, nobody will know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that was good. Okay. Hmm. Is having her say, like, I'm really into guys who are macho and love anime a way to try to get people who love anime to become more macho? I think it is. It makes sense. I guess that's the whole point, right? Part of it. Mmm. What's the prize? Ooh. Ooh, this could be all a bunch of interesting gear. Date. Oh. S D Disneyland? Uh, I guess. Mm hmm. All right, I can be. Oh, isometrics? Isometrics. Yep. Or use the same muscles on each side to push against each other. Yeah. Nice chest. Or side chest. Side chest. You be keen? Or is it Akemi? It's Akemi. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's even better. Okay. She's gonna ask Machio, isn't she? No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> 
All right. I thought she was going to freak out because somehow the picture would expose her. I don't know why, why, where my brain is right now. Akami is completely fine with that. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh. Winter Kamike. I have a feeling it's a way to get to the muscles. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Thank you, Lucky Star. <laughs> I wouldn't have known that. <laughs> Mmm, okay. Hey, he came. <laughs> oh, God. That's so much creepier than Mickey Mouse. It's Disneyland. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maki, the... the copyright-sensitive... creature. Uh-huh. Oof. So much going on, I love it. I love that little piece of music. I'm gonna see something weird. But not what you expect. <laughs> Hercules? <laughs> Uh-huh. Holy crap, no way. Where's teacher? That's awesome. Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> Yep. 
Hmm. All right. Mhm. Mm On your shoulders. Yep, just like with Bench. It's not as efficient a motion, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I have a feeling. Oh. <laughs> well, just uh, never talk about it. Yep. <laughs> I assume that the ending thing will be isometrics or poses. Not happening. But I'll watch.
<laughs> All right. Lovely. Fun episode. Absolutely nothing about about Barnold in here. Cool. The 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 Christmas party and bringing back up the fact that Hibiki is just continuing to eat too much. I mean, it's her greatest strength, but it's also her greatest weakness. Fantastic. Um, some some of the little little gags in here, like this one where yep, I love the world word bulk. Love it. Um, the the uniforms that they or not uniforms the the costumes that they had for the Christmas party were super cute. The whole thing about triceps and and skull crushers, uh, or you can do like standing rope tricep extensions, or you can do like overhead with a weight like that. You can you can do all kinds of things, but but yeah, tri triceps are important. Um, you'll work those in any pushing motion that you do as well with your upper body. So like push ups will work your triceps, uh, bench absolutely will, as will incline bench and any other. But um, yeah, if you want to isolate them, it's the opposite of a curl. Uh, big fan of this reindeer costume. I don't know why. I mean, the, with the bell, it gives me, like, a Nanami vibe, but not at all. It's really cute. Also, the Santa outfit, really cute. Cute all over. Uh, Gina, or Xena, yep, that's pretty cool. I, I don't, I don't really know about this. Uh, the, the Gaolan Wong Sawat. I'm, I'm actually gonna guess that that's probably something from Kengan Ash, 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 the, the other show. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it's somebody from there that that those of you who have followed that series probably recognize, but I don't. But then the the flicker jab thing is like the only only thing in fiction that I can think of is is Mashiba from Ippo. But I, he's definitely not Thai, so okay. And what was hers? It's uh dead or dead, so dead or alive. Nice. <laughs> All right. And then they're all on the hunt. Yeah, pretty pretty cool. Pretty cool. Bunch of gifts and stuff. Uh, so they chose the raffle numbers beforehand and drew them on Machio. And then, okay, gave out the, the tickets randomly. Okay, that works. Isometrics, yeah, isometrics are, are hard. Um, isometrics against gravity are, are hard, but like... Against yourself, doing doing like just just pressure, it's 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 harder than you might think, uh, and it's something that you can do anywhere with no equipment, which is kind of cool. I don't know how effective they are, like compared to lifting a weight or or working against some other force and using a full range of motion. I think that's the the biggest flaw with isometrics is usually you you just hold one position. Um, instead of getting the range of motion, which is what the muscle is intended to do, so. Not sure about effectiveness, but um, I know I know some people swear by them, so that's cool. And the date, and just going through the date, like she is constantly staring at his chest, isn't she? Also, this fucking mouse. Oh my god, that is a scary, scary copyright conscious mouse, for sure. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that eyeline lines up. Run the teacups. Yep. Yep, she is staring at his tits. Fantastic. Uh, nope, no tryst. Just dressing up as Hercules and whatever the... What's the girl's name from Hercules? Megara? Meg. Yeah, Meg. Not quite the toga thing that she wears, but I'm going to assume that's what they're going for. Okay. Cute. Cute. And, and then the, 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 the komike. Yeah. Oh, if only, if only teacher was there to, like, to see this, she would be so happy. Uh, this scene seems like this usually land for me in the show. This one didn't land to me, land so much. I think it's just because it's so extended. Uh, but I don't know. Machio flex in his chest. It's great. Uh, in this episode, there were a couple of things that were like very straightforward. Um, 
Wow, we girls love guys who are really macho. Wow, those macho guys sure have it all. Very, very straightforward. I, I don't know what the word would be for this. Uh, manipulation? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but that's that's what we're here for, right? We're here for a bit of bit of motivation wrapped up in, in cute girls talking about muscles and lifting and stuff to get into the gym and, and get a little bit more macho. So that's pretty cool. All in all, fun episode. Good stuff. Looking forward to next week. That's going to be it for me. So I've been Tiabu. This has been Dumbbell, episode 10. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I hope to catch you next week in the next one. Peace.